Well, good morning, boy howdy, all you men and women and boys and girls of all ages and walks of life. Welcome once again to the garage here. And, um, you know, this is kind of my replication of the music from the first Endless Summer film. It was not a movie at that point in time, it was called a film. And uh, that was one of the greatest bonding moments I ever had with my actual father and then my sons. Uh, we both loved both Endless Summer movies. Now my dad and I were privileged and lucky and blessed enough to actually go see Bruce Brown, who made this film, perform it. Because in the early days, he just went around with a great big screen and showed this film and narrated it by himself and had music on a little, you know, <laughs> cheap recorder. And it was, uh, it was just awesome. My dad and I went out and built a surfboard after that. Pretty groovy, man. Probably about 64, 65, 66, something like that. I love this kind of music and I love that being born and raised in Southern California in those days was a, was a true blessing. It was wonderful. We lived about 13 miles from the beach. It was just great. Anywho, here we are. You know, I know it looks like I've been stalled on these projects, and in a way I have, but it's been super cold, and this guitar here is going to require some pretty uh, fancy footwork to get finished. I've still got to finish building my holder for it so I can, you know, suspend it and paint it, and the thing is that it's just been so cold that it's not good for doing that. I was working on Mr. Popsicle over here, and uh, I ended up taking a lot of the finish back off just because it it just didn't turn out the way I felt it needed to be to be a really nice looking guitar but it'll get done so anywho I'm trying to keep you in the loop trying to keep you interested and I want you to know that I still have projects lined up I've showed you one maybe two of them I'm not sure I got the dual sun finished I made a video with it and it's working really good except that I didn't put the staggered uh, tuning keys in correctly they're like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't pay attention to that because I, for some reason, I'd forgotten I ordered staggered keys. I thought they were all the same height. So I'll fix that in a later video. Anywho, so what do we have here? This one is from the Bargain Musician, who I haven't bought anything from in quite a while. Uh, I had this for a little bit, but I've never even opened it or even truly looked at it. So it would probably be a good time to do it because find out anything really bad about it, I guess I'm going to be sad because it's too late to send it back. Anywho, let's check it out. Let's open it up and see. All right, here we go. Like I said, it is from the Bargain Musician. These are the guys I was telling you about that are also motorcycle guys and other stuff. And, you know, here's something I've never had from them before. It's how to wire up your pickups. Now, I'm not sure that it's going to be perfect, but at least it's a step in the right direction from absolutely nothing. They even send you two guitar picks. How cool. With a little tiny bargain musician guy on it. I don't think you can see that, but I'll just hold it up. Anyways, all that aside, what is this thing? What do you think this goofball went and bought this time? Is it a, a Les Paul? Nope. Is it a Stratocaster? Nope. Is it a PRS? Nope. Is it a, uh, gosh, is it a 335? Nope. Let's look at this thing. You are gonna say, have you lost your mind? Maybe I have. Let's check it out. Whoa! It's an Ibanez Iceman. Check it out. Is that one weird looking body or what? Wow. Let's check it over. It looks pretty good. You know, okay, let's look at the back. That always can tell you. For some reason, the different pieces of wood they put on these sometimes show up more on the back than they do on the front. Don't ask me how. But we got one piece here. I think we got a middle stringer right here. And I think this whole other piece is one. 
Yeah, so you can kind of see it's this one. Actually, there's two here. <laughs> These guys, they sure like multiple pieces of wood. So you got one, two, three, four. At least this one isn't split and have little pieces off. Okay, this is a bolt on neck. You know, this looks pretty darn good. Let's just go around it real slow. I can already see a couple little dings in it. That just kind of comes with the territory. And since I am not finishing this uh, for the grain or staining it, this is definitely gonna be painted. I love these things, they're so weird looking. Well, let's set this aside for a minute. Let's pull this neck out and we'll see how that looks. Get out of its little house here. <laughs> oh yeah, it's got that Ibanez headstock, doesn't it? Check it out. It's even got a bound neck, which I don't think any of my other guitars have come with. This piece here is binding, it goes around it, and it's got 22 frets. Yep, they seem to be almost maybe jumbo. And you know what? I think because of the binding, they feel pretty good. You know, just about every guitar I've put together, I've had to really mess around with the frets. It's got a couple little flaws, but nothing really terrible. Hey, let's check it out. Well, hopefully this will fit with a good tight, oh man. That's a nice tight fit. It's not all the way back, but check it out. And at this point, I ain't gonna tell you guys what I'm gonna do with this, um, paint-wise. That's a pretty nice neck. Now this is probably that uh, fake wood, uh, some kind of engineered wood. Doesn't smell like wood. <laughs> Go with the sniff test. 132, 132, go figure. All right, that is sweet. I love these goofy looking headstocks. You know, and you got a pretty straight string pull. It's got another nasty plastic nut on it, but just get rid of that. It's got a truss rod. Probably got a truss rod 2L to adjust it. I guess we'll put it back in this little scabbard. This is going to be fun. I will say this about the paint that I'm uh, thinking about. What's the name? What are these guitars called once again? They're called an Ice Man. That give you any clue to what I might do with this? Well, I certainly hope so. We better check out the other components of this thing before we put her to bed. We got our bag of parts. Let's see what we got in here. We got some covers. You know, we can just check that out right now and see how good they fit. They're not drilled, but man, this puppy fits right in there. Just, there's some puppy fitting for you. Probably never be able to get it back out. <laughs> anyway, we won't horse around with that. There's another one, I'm sure, in here. And uh, this one comes, yeah, here's a round one. Now this one comes with all black hardware. That's interesting. I've never done an all black hardware, and I don't, there's your typical free cable they give you, these things. I wouldn't, you know, 
for a beginner, they'd be great. But for a guy that, you know, even though I'm not a professional player anymore, you couldn't use these. They make too much noise and they break too easy. Yeah, it's all black. That is really interesting. Black knobs, black switch tip. I'm sure the bridge and the tailpiece are black. Let's look at these humbuckers for a minute. Holy mackerel, look at the magnets on that thing. Wow. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We're gonna have to test these, aren't we? We're gonna have to see what kind of output they've got. Let's just put, let's just stick them in there. Why not? What else we should do with this thing? That's backwards. This one needs to go up here because it has the larger pickup ring than uh, the taller one. Yeah. Well, shoot. It's almost done. Let's start playing it. These things are so goofy, they're just beautiful. And you know, actually, this wood is not that bad. I mean, if I if I didn't have different plans for this, for sure, I almost would stain this. Okay. Well, anywho, I hope that uh, you enjoyed this little uh, foray into what's going to come next. And uh, I'm just trying to keep you in the loop. I probably won't get this to this for a while because I've got a couple others over there that need to be addressed also. But actually, I've had this one longer in a couple of those. I have, so this is the fourth one I've got. So all through next year, we're gonna be some building fools, aren't we? We'll get all this stuff put away and fixed up and put together and, you know, maybe you guys will wanna start bidding on them or something so I could sell them. I can't keep all these things. Anywho, I hope you guys once again are having a blessed and a great day. It's a beautiful day here today. It's sunny. It's very cold, but it's sunny. Anyways, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.